Hi, my name is Dan Morsey from the 1X Backbone Engineering team. This short video will guide you through the process of configuring high-level diagnostic logging for the Spark Emulator executable, which will be required for troubleshooting 1X agent problems with the Avaya support team. The Spark Emulator is the voice processing engine for all voice over IP communications. This is commonly referred to as My Computer Mode. The Spark Emulator also logs all interactions between the Communication Manager and the application. Therefore, it is essential in the troubleshooting process. The first step is to ensure the 1x agent is not running, so we can modify the configuration file that is located in the application's working directory. Increasing logging levels will impact CPU utilization, so it's recommended to only use this high-level debug logging as advised by your support engineer. Ensure the 1x agent is not running. Navigate to the app data folder for the user by running percent app data percent. Navigate to the 1x agent and make a copy of the config.xml file. Next we want to insert our lines of code We want to make sure that we're going to continue the formatting. So ensuring that we place this after the alternate servers list timeout parameter. And then we want to save. To verify that we were successful increasing it to a high level debug, simply start the 1x agent, go right back to your app data folder, and open the endpoint log.txt. As you can see, the default is error level, and since we've increased it to a high level debug, you can now see that we have DBH entries. And this is confirmation that our high level diagnostic logging was successfully enabled. Once you've replicated your issue and you're ready to collect the log files, Open your Windows Explorer and navigate to Program Files x86, Avaya, and 1x Agent folder. Scroll down till you find 1x Agent Troubleshooter EXE. I always like to run this at as administrator to ensure that we are able to collect all of the log files successfully. I'm just going to choose the desktop and run collect. As you can see, it creates a zip file with all of the log files, and this is ready to be attached to an email to send to your backbone engineer. To return your local logging level to the default, simply navigate to your app data folder and we want to delete this and then we want to rename the copy that we made 
as config.xml. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.